Younger students are also feeling the effects of the election. A seventh grader at DeWitt Junior High says students walled her off from her locker Wednesday saying go back to Mexico. Reporter Christopher Lane spoke with the DeWitt superintendent and the student's mother about the incident. It was a typical Wednesday for Karina Gonzalez until dinner time arrived. That's when Gonzalez's daughter said she had been targeted by other students as they tried to make a wall around her and her friend's locker. They basically said, what do you want? She said, I just want to get in my locker. They told her no, that she needed to go back to Mexico and that, you know, there's a new president and that they're going to be building a wall and that she wasn't wanted here. That story has DeWitt Public Schools superintendent starting to think about a plan to proactively address discrimination. It's a very troubling report, a very troubling image to come to mind. John Dieter tells me nothing has been confirmed, but he is planning on working with principals across the district to address the issue in the classroom. A thought that comes to mind is to focus on the message of unity, and I think it's something we need to share with our students um, to help them heal and move on and understand what's going on now in the world. Other districts that I spoke with, including Holt and Lansing School Districts, say they want to foster environments of unity. Lansing School Board President Peter Spadafore tells me he expects it to be a topic of conversation at the next school board meeting, which Gonzalez thinks is a great idea. Absolutely, and I think it should be a safe zone that you should be allowed to come in, talk to your administration, and that you're going to be taken seriously. Dieter says the event is being taken seriously, and he hopes to create a plan soon. In DeWitt, Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News.